Look, it's a goji berry. It's autumn and it's very easy to grow goji berries in autumn. It's amazingly easy. All you do is cut the branches and uh, just plant them, that's all. And they root immediately, pretty much, after a couple of weeks. I used a bit of rooting hormone, but you could get away without any rooting hormone. Look at that piece, for example. You could snip it off there, pull the bottom leaves off. Look, it's autumn now here. And this is a goji berry, some type of goji berry. There seems to be more than one variety. This one's got big wide leaves. But um, it's time to, I've been growing them lately. It only takes a couple of weeks. It's autumn, the weather's cooler. If I, if I snip that off there, for example, pull those bottom leaves off, uh, dip it in root hormone and put it in um, some, a pot, it will grow very fast. I've already grown some about two or three weeks ago and they're already growing. They've got roots and leaves on them already. So out of one goji berry like this, you can grow lots of lots more plants. And uh, yes, uh, I could cut this here, remove those leaves, put it in the ground, and uh, I'd get a big plant immediately. But um, yes, uh, it's not absolutely necessary to, to use root hormone at all, because they just, well, I've had about a 100% success rate. And um, yes. That piece there would be a whole new little plant, for example. There's a whole new plant, snip it off there. Out of a branch like this I could make one, two, three new plants. And uh, goji berries galore. All from this one plant. I'll come and I'll show you now how many uh, new plants I've, I've, I've grown. Quite a few, all from cuttings from this one plant. Look at all these little goji berries. They're all rooted and growing now. They were taken about two or three weeks ago and they're all growing. And I mean, if I had to pay for them, I'd be paying for about $10 each or something in the shops, wouldn't I? So that's my little, that's some of them. I've got even more. But these are new goji berries, just simply grown from sticks of goji berry. As I said, they were dipped in hormone, but I don't think it's really necessary. That one's not a goji berry, but that's a goji berry. They're all rooted and growing. Healthy and rooted and growing. Look at that one. I can repot them or I can put them in the ground. Wonderful. I have more goji berries than I need. And the parrots can eat the rest. These goji berries were all uh, grown from cuttings about uh, about three to four weeks ago, maybe about a month ago at the most. And they've all started growing and they've all got root growth and uh, leaf growth. You can grow quite uh, a goji berry of quite a big size really, can't you? Look at that. That's quite a good size bush, quite a big plant that. Instant goji berry bush really. Very easy to grow. All growing. I'd have to pay ten dollars for that at Bunnings. Look at that. All alive and growing. Wonderful. It's all growing. Definitely growing. Save yourself a lot of money buying uh, then rather than buying uh, a whole lot of goji berries, just buy one and multiply them. This little goji berry is brand new. It was only bought yesterday. Look at all the leaves on it, all the branches. What I'm going to do is just uh, make some new plants out of it. Or some more goji berries than Maria. This is some uh, rooting hormone just to increase the chances of them rooting, but I don't really think it's necessary. Anyway, here's how to make a new goji plant. I'm no gardening expert, by the way. Take off those few bottom leaves. You can use those in your cooking, your Chinese cooking, those leaves. Just dip it in hormone for a minute, the hormone gel. Look, it's been dipped in the hormone gel. 
Whoops. And all we have to do is plant it and water it. That's all we have to do. And in about two or three weeks, it'll be growing. It will be. And that's that. Let's just plant this uh, goji berry. This seedling. I'm not this seeding, this cutting. Just put it in the hole. We've dipped it in hormone. Just put it in the hole. Deep enough. And that should be right now. That's a different sort of leaf actually, see? A different sort of variety. They have ones from Nepal and ones from, from China. I think they call one lysi berry, don't they? Anyway, they're different. I don't know whether it's a phenotypic difference or a genotypic difference. But anyway, that one. I'll just water it in now and I'll have a new goji berry, won't I? I'm going to have them all over the place. Goji's galore. The more the merrier anyway. Watered in and that'll be rooted and growing in about, what, two or three weeks. Good on it. I'll have lots of berries. Goji berries galore. Hooray, yippee. Happy day. Dipping that cutting in leaf hormone. And I'm going to plant it directly in the ground using this spear. I'm going to dig a little hole in the ground and then water it in. I'm going to have them all growing around all over the place. That looks like a good place. Just make a little hole with this spear. I'll stip the hormone piece right up the hormone piece of uh, goji berry, put it in the hole, just seal it with my fingers. Now that's going to be there for good, isn't it? And there's another goji berry. And we can eat the fruits and the birds can eat the fruits too. I should actually try some of these goji berry leaves in a bowl of instant noodles. They're supposed to be edible, these um, goji berry leaves. I've seen them in Chinese cooking and people on YouTube cooking them in their uh, soups and stews and things. So I'm going to take some of these small leaves and put them in noodles and see how they taste. Goji berry leaves. Why does someone have to use a buzz saw just when I'm making a film? There, I'm going to put them in my uh, instant noodles. That's what I'm going to do, buzz saw or not. Let's now try some goji berries and uh, leaves in instant noodles to see what they're like. Since it's not berry time, let's try them with some uh, instant noodles. Here's our goji berry plant, our leaves, in instant noodles, and they do taste all right, just for a quick snack. Junk food, I know. Quick snack. Tasty enough. There, I'll eat one. Hmm. Tasty enough. Makes uh, junk food noodles a bit more nutritious, doesn't it? Mmm. See you for now.